Hi and welcome. You're watching Exo Photography. My name is Daniel. Uh, today's video is all about taking out the primary mirror in my telescope. Uh, I will get it cleaned. I will remove the old center mark uh, because I need to change it to uh, the cat's eye hotspot center mark. And I will be doing a new collimation with a new collimation tool uh, that will probably be in a separate video. And I am also going to show you how the, the cat's eye collimator works. Okay, let's begin. We'll start with removing the back side. It's a cover I built with a fan uh, so you can cool the primary mirror. Uh, that's attached with magnets, so I have to remove these two. And there we go. So this is the primary mirror cell. It's attached with three screws, which is locked down and it's very easy to remove and install. So I am going to go inside now and I am going to try to get rid of the center mark and get this mirror cleaned. So to uh, clean the mirror, uh, start off by taking off your jewelry because you don't want to accidentally get or any ring or something like that on the mirror and also wash your hands and to be able to remove the primary spot i am going to be using a nail polish remover and i am going to put that in a small cap like this and I'm going to start dabbing the center dot with uh, the nail polish remover. And you want to keep this wet all the time. It evaporates quite quickly, so you have to keep dabbing it. So the primary dot on my mirror uh, isn't actually a sticker, it's not uh, aluminized on this. So when I put my finger on the mirror, I can actually see my finger through the uh, mirror glass. Um, so I'm going to <laughs> leave that uh, and hopefully when I get the uh, hotspot sticker, uh, it's going to uh, fit uh, over this mark. But I am going to uh, remove the mirror from the uh, mirror cell and to do that you have to release some screws.
the mirror is now uh, detached from the primary mirror cell and as you can see these can move and also uh, is a little bit of wobble to them uh, this is meant to be uh, it's a nine point uh, floating uh, mirror holder to get the mirror uh, just perfectly leveled um, so I will put this aside and we will continue with cleaning the mirror so I have put the mirror into the sink uh, and I also put a sloth in no not a sloth a cloth uh, you probably won't put a sloth in the sink that wouldn't be a great idea at all so before I start uh, washing uh, the mirror I'm going to wash my hands Okay, so basically what I'm going to start out with is uh, washing the mirror, just rinse it with water. Uh, actually, that is the best way to do it. So the internet says, so just flush off the uh, loose debris and dust and dirt. Just have a quick look. Okay, that looks just fine. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, put some uh, uh, washing liquid. And I use my fingers very subtle. Just carefully just touch the mirror with your fingertips and let it dance across the mirror. Just uh, make a quick inspection and it looks like uh, all of the debris is gone. Uh, the final step is you are going to use some distilled water. Just pour it over. Uh, distilled water won't leave any uh, any debris on the mirror. Once it dry off, uh, it will probably be just as clean as you want it. There we go, uh, I am just going to leave that to dry a bit and we'll get back to you. Just have a look at that mirror. Uh, it came out very nice, very clean and uh, uh, almost no spots from the water at all. Uh, just some small, small, small spot. Um, what you could do, you could dab a piece of paper uh, just to suck the uh, last drops of water out. Okay, so the first step is to uh, attach the mark. I have already done this to my mirror, so I'm going to show you on a... Uh, actually, <laughs> it's one of my girlfriend's uh, uh, lids. Uh, but the principle is the same, so I'm going to show you with uh, this one. The first step, however, is to um, uh, attach the new center spot underneath this uh, template. I'm going to use a triangle version. Um, the one that I uh, attached to my primary mirror is uh, called the hotspot mark. Uh, it looks a bit different, but it's the same method to apply it. So uh, first you're going to attach the uh, new mark underneath uh, this template. Like this. And then you will align so it corresponds with the template. Uh, this is not the correct um, mark for this template. I have the 
uh, hotspots already mounted but you place it underneath like this and you see these circles here uh, that's actually punched hole um, in the template uh, and you're going to attach some piece of tape if I can find the edge of the tape just push it down so you don't move it and push the tape so that the uh, center mark is sticking to uh, the adhesive tape Okay, so the center mark is now attached to the template and this is uh, going to simulate the mirror and uh, the mirror are uh, concave, uh, it's a parabolic shape, um, so what you are going to do is align these circles so it corresponds to the uh, the edge of the primary mirror and the best is to uh, take a helping hand here because when i am holding this here uh, ask someone to push the center mark down like this um, before you do that you have to take off the protective uh, piece of uh, tape uh, underneath the primary uh, spot mark so just line these circles up to the edge of the primary mirror and just push it gently down like this and just make sure it sticks and then just carefully remove it and it will uh, hopefully stick to the mirror so um, that's it. And now you have hopefully a mirror uh, that will be uh, having a new center mark. If you like my channel, please subscribe to it and you will get notified when I have uploaded some new videos.